head up. Morning, or afternoon, good evening, wherever fluff you are. As you can see, we have a digger sat on top of a giant mound of shit. Lovely. Digger in its natural habitat and this thing ain't focusing. Ah well. But not much has changed really with this. Not a lot has gone on down here. Not since I did one before anyway. Let us see if there's anything that you can see on the other side. Doubt it, but... Nah, no much down there neither. Seems to have slowed down over here. Must have made any here, uh, where else? Don't know yet. Wind is going to be horrendous today. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of fun, huh? But, I mean, that's all flat down there. All around there is all flat. So, the car park, mark, outdoor market area seems to be uh, pretty much okay for now uh, so you never know not a lot's changed here don't really know if much else will have changed over the other side but we will see this is probably going to be incredibly short because there ain't much going on and it is absolutely freezing but i will put you on pause for a minute and then we will see what happens up to the other side just another little mini thought before we get to the other bit of the stuff like I've said a few times in this place what do you think of the arena idea and I mean what do you guys out there think of the arena idea turn this place into a nice big arena you know rather than knocking it down we've got the big big old entryway the big old arch please to turn that into a grand entrance way you know put a big sweep up on the top of it Probably well, scale some of that back, put a big old, you know, nice big glass facade across the, some of the windows out, put a nice big, you know, outdoor area of arena rather than destroying it. It's what, 30 odd years old and it's already getting destroyed? This ain't middle America. We're supposed to save shit, not destroy it. Plus with all the greeny green greens going on. So you know, well, the more that you destroy buildings, the more you're destroying the planet because of the, you know, all of the CO2 and everything that goes into all of that. So maybe be a bit more green on that end. I don't know. I don't know if, because I know that, make, you know, doing steel and everything, obviously, it's going to put pollutants up because you're going to need to use a lot of heat to get some steel. You're going to need to dig it out. Even recycling it, you're still going to melt it down. So, you are going to be making a bit of mess, some of you. And sort it the rest of the stuff out, that's right. You know, making bricks, you're going to dig the clay out. Earth destruction. Making glass. Got to get into high temperatures, make glass. You know. But hey, whatever. But, it's like, what's your ideas for the turning that into an arena instead? Because I wouldn't mind seeing an arena. Giving it then some of the facade and taking a tin opener to it, giving it that oval roof and making the rest of it all fit in, changing it about, giving it a bit of jiggery porkery, that wouldn't that wouldn't be so bad, would it? Because if you use make sure that you recycle as much of the material as possible and retain as much of the original as possible, where possible. I don't know. They are making a bit of noise with a roller by the sounds of it. But the smells of it as well. It smells like there's a good old bit of tarmac and bitchy gone there. Five you, what's yours? To be honest, a lot has changed. 
really. You still see where they've got hoardings and hoardings and where they're digging and where they're all down there. Obviously, more of the roof tile has come off, more of the slate has come off. Not a lot's really changed out here. Big old colour walkway. And then you've got all of the inside of there. Which don't look too bad, really. It's still going to be a shame seeing it all gone. Yeah, well this is the covered walkway. I wonder, is that little gut still be there? Has that bog got me sat on its corner? Or is it going to have been removed? And I can't do that pun. Well, still there. Whoever's put it there, shitting in the danger zone. It's still there. It's still there. Again, not much has changed down here. Didn't exactly expect much to have changed. But I think maybe the crap weather's been alright for them because if they did ever pull any more down it would have kept some of the dust away but not really much. But, you know, but pulling the market hall is not necessary. You could easily adapt it to the arena like I've said. Probably turn it into multiple other things, turn it into other units and things, you know. All of the mess that's gone on, a lot of this is totally unnecessary. Some of it, yes, you probably could have, like, you know, redeveloped, maybe taken a few bits away, but not in full. I don't really think that we're ever going to utilise that hotel, you know. Honestly, I don't think we're going to utilise that hotel in the apartments and everything. I don't think that's a good idea because who on earth is going to want to live in the centre of town where it's all hustle bustle and noisy when it's not exactly a major city? You know, it's not like it's you know, it's not like it's the centre of Manchester or centre of Liverpool or centre of Birmingham. Leading on to that, that might be the next one. Might be the next time that you see my feds. So it's from Birmingham. But that's the uh, bye bye. And it's starting to rain. So folks, go it up. Yeah, I've got my badges on. But what else? I just don't think it's really necessary to do all of this. And that cube or whatever it is over here and turning this. We could have had a decent big civic square with some of this stuff around. Yeah, you might maybe possibly pull some of these bits on the sides down and make like a mini market area and, you know, make a Wigan version of Athlex in one of them, like all the units up in Grand. You know, you could probably have done that. Made a Wigan version of Athlex or something rather than all that mess. Rather than tearing everything down just for the sake of it because it just seems more like just a giant vanity project that you've got a grant, you've been given money and you go, ooh, what can we do with it? I know, let's rip the art out of the town and smash everything up and let's rebuild it when it's like 20 years too late to have all of this. Who on earth is going to want to have two cinemas? Who on earth is going to want to have two sets of bowling alleys when it's a five minute walk down the road to get to the bowling alley? It's a 15 minute walk over to the stadium to get to the other cinema. And that one ain't doing exactly gangbusters neither. Ideas are just a little bit out there. You know? Yeah, a big square and stuff would have been a lot better for Pride. Uh, when it crammed up top. You know? Big ceremonies and stuff could have gone on there, but no, it just doesn't seem to doesn't seem to sit in the ads with some people. Just don't work. Logic. What logic? I'm gonna do that typical furry thing from some people. <laughs> Humans. No thought, no ideas. You might have, you know, might have all gear, but they definitely don't have no idea. Anyway, before I start ranting too long, I'll sign off. Peace.